Hey, this is Bishal Sarkar here, and right now I want to talk to you about. Uh, yeah, if you want to, if you if you are inside your comfort zone, uh, you are inside your danger zone. Yeah, that is that is what I want to talk about. And the thing is, if you want to be a great leader, you want to make sure that you don't stay inside your comfort zone. You go outside your, uh, you go outside and and become uncomfortable because greatly. What am I doing? Oh, I'm reading out. I'm sorry about that. That is the thing. Stop reading during your presentation. A common mistake that I often see in people is they oftentimes don't connect with the audience because of three reasons. Number one, they have some notes. So this is mistake number one: having detailed notes. Having detailed notes. What do I mean by that? Is they keep some notes they write maybe in a diary or a journal or a microsoft document and they keep that available and instead of looking here you know they are they are looking constantly they are they are constantly checking so they're looking here then here a bit just to make sure that people understand that i'm looking here and then they go back there and they're reading the notes there is a disconnect there people know that now that you're reading notes number one number two the mistake many people do is breaking eye connection breaking eye connection See, it's not just about constantly looking. Even when I talk, I sometimes look somewhere else because I'm thinking different things. And see, even when I'm looking here and there because of my voice, you know that I'm actually connecting with you. Does that make sense? So it's not, it's not about that I have to constantly look like this. Yes, next point. I'll not even blink. Sorry, I, I can't blink. No, not like that. You've got to be natural. When you talk to somebody, you don't keep staring like at them like this, right? You sometimes say, yeah, that, that makes sense, right? So you that is fine. What I'm talking about eye connection breaking is when you constantly look outside or maybe you have a screen somewhere else. This is a common mistake, you know, most, most people do that. So which is instead of looking at the camera, they look at the screen constantly like, okay, yeah, does that make sense? Perfect, perfect. The next point I want to talk about and look, the thing is you got to understand this is the screen and that is fine, but the camera lens is here. People are seeing you through here, not through here. You are seeing them. So at times it's okay to have a look at the screen or if you are using a mobile just in the side, but keep looking there. This is a mistake many people do. You'll see that sometimes people make videos like this. Hey, this is so and so. And today I want to talk about this. And they're looking sideways because they're obsessed looking at themselves. And often they don't look good. Then why are you looking at yourself? Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> um, look at the lens. Your lens is one of your new friends okay that's the second tip i have and the third thing i want to talk about is if you really want to connect and if you really want to have notes it's fine especially during virtual presentation make sure you take small you know you can buy the cards on amazon or you can this is some of my backup copies you know take a a4 sheet and cut them into four pieces so one you know, basically four pieces, 25% of an A4 sheet and write some bullet points only, not detailed points, but just bullet points. You write them and you keep it near you. So you're not dependent. You're using them anytime you want to remember the next point, but you're not, you're not dependent on word by word, word by word, right? So having that helps you remember the points. And if you get, you know, stuck, have a quick look and you know what the next point is. Does that make sense? It's a habit. It will not happen overnight, but it can certainly happen over time if you are in the right direction. Look, what I do inside our courses is give you practical tips, techniques on how to, you know, optimize, maximize and systemize your results. And if you really want to upgrade your life, call the number, talk to one of our team members and see not only how you can learn public speaking like many of the people are saying, but how you can implement it with my personal guidance. So you're not just watching videos and stuff like that. So I can personally give you feedback and coaching to make sure that you become an influential, powerful and a persuasive speaker. If that's of importance to you, if you really want to be the authority so that you can have more money, more freedom, more time and as a result, more respect in your industry, call this number right now. Talk to one of our team members. They're going to get to the details about the next time we open the spots. We don't work with everybody. You know, many people say we have 25,000 people in our program. I don't, that's, that's not a program. That's a joke. First of all, 25,000 people. That's just like giving access, sending logins to people. That's not how we work. I 
want I talk to people I have people on a group call I coach them I mentor them so if you want that level of thing if you're just starting out in the career and you don't have good budget I understand that you're looking for a cheap course the quality does not matter go to those people if you are a leader and if you want more better influence and persuasion because people already trust you now the question is how can you have people to trust you more deep way with more authority articulation body language storytelling and overall the authority of persuasion that you have because you want to influence you want to be that driving force you want to come to the limelight if you want to rock every single presentation for the rest of your life call this number talk to one of our team members and we're going to get you details about how i can mentor you to make sure you don't make the common mistakes that many people are making so that you can become a power player leader call this number vishal sarkar here reminding you that influential speaking is not about perfection is all about connection